Hello, 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 and welcome to your podcast little tutorial on chat GPT and perplexity. Just wanted to take a moment to walk you through some of the, the cool things about chat GPT and perplexity for those who have not used it before. So here we go. So you'll notice on this one, you're going to build your script. Now, as you're building your script, there are some cool things that you can do. We're asking you to use one of the chat bots, either chat GPT or perplexity to design this. And so what you want to do is go in and just kind of highlight this as you're going in because this is the prompt that you want to put in. And as you're thinking about prompts, let's talk about that for a minute. You want to be as specific as possible. So that way you get the information that you want. So really think about the things that you want to put into your particular podcast and the things that are important within this. But this is also not a place for you just to copy and paste what comes out of ChatGPT. You want to either go in, ask several questions, you want to refine the material, or you can actually copy the information out and take it into like a Google Doc and then start editing it from there. So this is not designed to replace your creativity or what you're thinking at all. It's really designed for you to think about, you know, what is it that you want to do to make sure that you do it correctly. So let's jump in so you can see this. So I have ChatGPT open. I have Perplexity also open. I kind of pre-primed it for you. So this was the question I asked. So you'll notice outline the five minute interview style podcast about using AI to develop a podcast and include questions from my guest speaker, include bullet points and major concepts. So that way it's nice, tight, and really kind of looks at it. So this one is an AI powered podcasting, unlocking the creativity and efficiency. So it kind of walks me through some times because it broke, I said five minutes. So it broke down times for me. So it says, you know, Welcome, a brief introduction of the podcast topic. So it gives you an outline of what you want to do. So it gives you segment one, gives you the questions. Segment two gives you more questions. And as you keep moving, you'll see, you know, kind of deep fakes within segment three, segment four, segment five, and then there's an outro. So you can decide how this looks. So from here, I might say, you know, please share a sample introduction to my podcast. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to generate that. So it gives me a sample introduction. So here is me about for a minute and then it, it kind of lists it. So welcome podcast enthusiast. So it gives me some things to say. And this is where I would start playing around with and starting to copy some things out of here. So if you like this, you can, you know, add here, click right here. You can share the link. You can actually copy the link so I can copy it out. I also, I'm one of those, you know, just copy and paste kind of people. So I just kind of go in, highlight it and I can highlight out. I can also click on my clipboard. So if I click on my clipboard, it's copied to my clipboard. Then I can go into my drive. You guys can see my whole process here. So I'm going to go to my drive, click on new. Now you get to see some of the fun stuff that I've been working on today. So when I click on new, I can go in and now I can paste this directly into, as my computer thinks about it, I can paste this into my Google Doc and I can go and start playing around with it. So there's that whole piece. I can go in and start editing and adding. I can go back. So I'm just going to hit the back button because I hit the drive on top of this one. So there's my chat GPT again. And I can go in now and I can look at everything that I said before and change things around. So I can go in and even pull that first piece that I was playing around with. So I click on this one. And as I click on it, it's going to open. Maybe. There we go. So I can see all the different things that I had asked. So I can also, as I'm working with this, I can say, refine the questions for my guest. And it'll ask me, it'll list a set of different questions. So I have a couple options of what I can do. So if I scroll down, there are some of the questions there. So let's jump in and let's look at perplexity because that was chat GPT. Let's talk about perplexity. So I took that same statement that I put in the first one and where it says, you know, for you, it says, if you look here, it says, you know, insert your topic. I've already inserted my topic and set it up. So again, I went in, put my, my prompt there hit, you know, go. And at the same time in perplexity, one thing I love about perplexity, it's a little bit different than chat GPT that you will notice. This one gives me the sources. So I can look at all of these sources 
and figure out, okay, does this fit with what I want? So with this one, notice that it gave me a welcome. It also gave me questions for my guest speaker. It also gave me some discussion questions. And then one thing I like about perplexity is it gives me, you know, related. So I can think about some other things that I might not have thought about initially, but it also gives me some information that I can add to this, which is really cool. So, you know, how can AI be used to improve production? You know, what are some of the AI tools that can be used to develop a podcast? So if I click on one of these, notice what happens. It generates that result. It also gives me resources, which I love. So these are some different tools that you could use. So if you're looking for more tools and developing your podcast, these are some great ones. So I can also, if I don't want to ask a follow-up question, I can keep going with follow-up questions, or if I click on new thread, I can take that little piece. Oops, I actually copied that one, so I'm going to get out of this one because that's actually the other feed. So one other quick thing, I can also turn on focus. I can also add a file for it to summarize. So I'm going to go back because I copied that other piece. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to copy this one more time. I'm going to try to get the quotes out of there because I don't need those. Hit copy and go back to perplexity. I'm going to click on new thread. Actually, I can just kind of wipe over this one. So I'll just do that and I'll clear this out real quick. Oops. There we go. You guys get to watch me fumble with my computer for a moment. All right, there we go. So we'll wipe that out. Perfect. Now I'm going to paste in that other one. And let's say my topic is now. Um, let's say exercise, if I can spell exercise today, let's just do wellness. It's hard to think and do a video at the same time. So let's do my podcast talk about wellness and include questions. So I'm going to click on go for copilot. And then you'll notice this is what it generated when I asked it to do a podcast about wellness. So you can put in any topic. It's definitely going to give you an answer. This is the other thing I want you to keep in mind. Sometimes as you're doing this, the answers you get back are incorrect. So that's where we say you need to make sure you're fact checking. You're looking to make sure things make sense. You're looking to really work on the different things and, and make sure that it, it says what you want it to say. So again, I would encourage both of you to play, to play with both of these tools because they are really cool, really neat to play around with. Um, and to utilize. I use them quite often for a lot of different things. As you'll notice, I have a couple things going over on the side, but you can go in and add, you can ask different things, you can also ask follow-up questions, anything you need, you can ask questions too. So what are some of the best practices? So if I want to include that in my podcast and leave some references, I could. So these are some of the things that I can work on. You can also say, generate a script for my podcast using the information above. And then now it will generate a script. So you can ask it just about anything and it will go in and add things for you. So it will write out a full paragraph, it will write out lists, kind of work with you. So again, if you like this one, if you go down to my little clipboard, click on your clipboard, that means it's copied, and then you go back into your Google Doc, scroll away from everything else, and I'm using my keyboard commands, and I'm on a PC, so I'm going to hit Control V to paste it, and there's everything. The other thing I love about this one is it gives you the citations. You can also go back in, and I can put these back in, and I can say... Put the following citations in alphabetical order and APA format. I'm going to have a space, a period. I'm going to paste those in, I'm going to hit enter, and then look at that. So I can put these in APA format by just putting my list back in there and it'll do the citation for me in alphabetical order and in APA format. But it looks like I need to take that the numbers out. So let's go back. If I take the numbers out, it will actually put them in the right order. Now it's putting them in number order. So I would have to take the numbers out for it to do it correctly. All right, so hopefully this is helpful. 
please let us know if you have questions and we're here to support you. have a great day.